Hello everyone. Today I will discuss Greco Latin scale design. This is a topic 4.3 of Design of Experiment book by Montgomery. So in this video, I will discuss what is Greco Latin scale design, what's the method, mathematical model, formulas of this design, and then I will discuss the ANOVA table, how to make the ANOVA table of the Greco Latin scale design. We will end up our lecture with with the method that how we can input our results in Minitab for Greco Latin scale design. So uh, let's before starting this topic, I will let you know that uh, we have uh, studied uh, in the start about uh, blocking of the Nazian factors. So when we have to block one factor, we will use randomized complete block design. When we have to block two factors, we will use Latin scale design. Then we, when we will have to block three factors, then it is greco latin scale design so in the earlier in the greco in the latin scale design we have discussed a uh, p cross p means a square uh, matrix okay so in this uh, greco latin uh, design we will superimpose that design into a new p cross p uh, uh, latin scale you can say a design with greek letters okay so we will get a uh, greco latin scale design so basically we are imposing two latin scale designs and these latent square design, when superimposed, they become orthogonal to each other. So I'm showing that how uh, the Greek latent square design look like. So this is the design of four cross four latent square design. It have four columns and uh, four columns and four rows. So we will get four effects. The effect of the row, uh, one factor will be in the row. The effect of columns, second factor will be in the column. The effect of latent uh, the effect of Latin alphabets A, B, C, D, and the effect of Greek letters alpha, beta, gamma, and delta. So alpha over will be treatment uh, effects that will be our main factor. While the row one, row to column two, uh, row is the first factor, column is the second factor, and uh, Greek alphabets are the third alpha or the third uh, factor uh, that we consider it as nisens. So now we will come towards the mathematical model of this. So each individual value in the Greek letter square, square design will be equal to the overall mean plus plus theta i. Theta is the effect of i -th row, means row number 1, 2, 3, and 4. Then tau j. Tau j is the effect of, you can say, treatment effect. The treatment effect tau i is calculated by calculating the effect of a, b, c, and d Greek uh, uh, Latin, uh, Latin uh, letters. Then we will uh, omega k. Omega k is the effect of uh, Greek letters, and then so l. This is the effect of columns. Okay, and plus epsilon i j k l. These are the residuals, or you can say errors. And you can see that i all of the factors, four factors i j k l, they have same number of levels from one to p. Where p represent the number of levels. So as discussed, there will be uh, letter, Latin letters. So their formula will be uh, first of all I will uh, go uh, move towards rows. So because uh, I will suggest to people to calculate the effect of rows and column earlier because they are quite easy to calculate. So uh, this is some obscure formula for the effect of rows. So this is why I dot dot dot. It means that uh, takes care the sum of all of the row values. Okay. With the help of example, I am telling you this. I have taken example 4.41 from the DOE Design Experiment book by Montgomery. So it, the problem is referring to the problem 4.28 again in the same exercise. So here there are order of assembly. There are four order of assembly that has been used for the assembly of a product represented by 1, 2, 3 and 4. So then the second factor, these are noises factors. Always the rows, columns, and the Greek letters they will represent Nisens factors. Operator 1, 2, 3, 4. This is the second Nisens factor. Then uh, the alphabets, Latin alphabets A, B, C, D. These are our treatments in which we are interested. Okay. And these Latin alphabet A, B, C, D are our assembly methods. Okay. That over some we assume that in uh, latent scale design that over assembly method A, B, C, D, these are affected by the operator type and the order of assembly. With the extension to uh, you can see uh, to the Greco latent design, we have introduced a four factor and we say that that the workplace type 
Okay, the engineer suspected that the workplace is workplace type used by the four, per, uh, four workers. It represents an additional source of variation. So we are taking our third Nisens factor in this case. Fine. So if I if I want to find the effect of rows, so I will take SS rows is will be equal to one by p. P means how many rows or column they will be equal. So here it become four sum of summation of y i dot dot. So why what will be the values of y i dot dot? It will the value of simply you can uh, you will sum all of the uh, values in the row. You can say 11 plus 10 21 21 plus uh, 4 25 35 and then plus 4 43. So you will write here 43 whole square. Okay, you will write here 4 3 whole square plus same as I guess you will take the sum of the second row and then you will end up with the summation of the third row we will have to take the uh, square of all of the values from starting till minus y dot dot or four times dot it means that you will have to take the sum of first initially all of these values and then we will divide it we will divide it, those values with n n is the total number of values and the to total number of values in this case we have 16 so this is the way that how we can calculate the sum of square of the rows then we will calculate sum of square of the rows so sum of square of sorry sum of square of the column so sum of square of the column again will be equal to 1 minus p, p is equal to 4, number of column are equal to 4. Then multiply by, you will have to take summation summation of all the sum of the column. Let's suppose the uh, sum of the first column are, are equal to uh, 10, 11 plus 8, it is 19, 9, and 9 plus 9, 18. So it will become 37. So you will write here 37 whole square. Then you will take the sum of the second column then third then fourth so same is the case you will sum all of these four values means you will take the sum of all four uh, then you will subtract them from the overall sum and then again it will be equal to 16 then same is the case i will write sum of square of the treatment so treatment will be uh, I, will have, I will have to take the sum i will have to take the sum of a b c and d so i will write here first latin letter okay then i will write here it's sum so i will i have four letter letter a b c d i will have to take the sum of them just like a in the first column i will say nine it should with the value with a is nine in the second column it is eight so nine plus eight 17 then is 10 it will become uh, 27 and then a here is 8 so it will become 35 so you will write here the sum of a equal to 35 same as the case you will write the sum of b so b is there b uh, so 8 is issued with the b so it become 8 plus 10 18 uh, plus 7 25 plus uh, 6 31 same as the case you will calculate b okay so you will write here 31 same as I guess you will write, calculate from the C and D also by yourself. Then what's remaining? We, uh, we It's remaining that we have to calculate about Greek letters. So you will write here Greek G R double Greek letters. Okay. And their sum. We have four Greek letters. Alpha, Beta, Gamma and Delta. Okay. So they have written the delta like this, and then I will have to take sum of all the values that are associated with the alpha. So alpha, the value associated with the alpha is eight. Then here alpha is uh, eleven. It become nineteen. Then it become nineteen plus eighteen, uh, thirty-seven. Thirty-seven and then thirty-seven plus uh, eight, forty-five. So you will write that forty-five is the sum of all alpha values. Same is the case you will now I'm uh, for example calculate the values of the delta. So delta will be equal to uh, 9 plus 10, 9, uh, 19 and then delta is 10, 29, 29 plus uh, 15, 44. So you will write 44 with the delta row. Same is the case you will calculate beta and gamma by yourself. So the values of the uh, latent square and greek letters have been uh, latent letter and greek letter have been already calculated what i will have to do i will uh, just put up the values of the greek letter and take care of all these values and then summation of all the values p is equal to 4 in this case y tetra dot is the sum of all of the values n is equal to 
uh, number of observations so we will get the sum of square for the latent letter keep in mind this is our main factor control factor treatment effect we will calculate from ssl sum of square of the latent letters then we will calculate the effect of sum of square for the word fourth level so greek letters the, the four value that we have calculated from the sum of the greek letters we will put the four values here take care of them and take and then take the summation of all these values we will get that sum of square of all those values so in this uh, way we will calculate the square of all sum of square for all four factors i came to the example that we have solved in the class so in the earlier we have only discussed about formulations as the main effect and the batches of raw material as nisens factor then in the example of a uh, latent scale design we took batches of raw material and operator as two nisens factors in this example of uh, table 4.21 in the book we have then uh, calc uh, obtained and checked the test assemblies as our third nisens factor or fourth factor in the example or you can say in the data these are all the calculated mean squares by the formulas and you will calculate the f not value f not value how we will calculate we will divide the mean square value of any factor with the mean square of the error we can calculate f not similarly the case if you want to find that what will be the f not value for batches of raw material operators and test assemblies you will just divide 17 divided by 8.5 37.5 divided by 8.5 and 15.5 divided by 8.5 you will get the f naught values for all this these three factors further uh, if you say that how we will calculate the mean square so whenever we divide sum of square with its degree of freedom we will always get mean square okay so this was all about and then i will uh, come to the that how we will uh, input the data for a greek related scale design in the mini tab or in excel I solved the book, book example in the mini tab. So there are four factor: factor one, order of assembly; operator B is, uh, you will say the assembly method, and uh, A, B, C are Latin, uh, Latin letters are assembly methods, and alpha, beta, gamma, delta are the workplace type. So first of all, you will write the uh, you can see row number. I have input the order of assembly as first column, operator. This is the second uh, column and the second factor workplace that has been represented by Greek, uh, Greek letters alpha, beta, gamma, and delta in the third column, and the assembly method that is our treatment effect main factor in the fourth column, and the outputs or response variables in the fifth column represented by assembly time. So uh, I will explain the first cell. In the first cell, I have obtained 11 minutes when order of assembly was one. It was one then operator number one yep then i will set that workplace where workplace represented by beta so beta is equal to two and the method three so c represents three and i got 11 then i will explain uh, you can say six number reading so this is six number reading i have this reading when order of assembly was two look at this two operator number is two so c become two then workplace method delta delta is equal to four so workplace is equal to four in the sixth row then i have c c means third assembly method the i've written uh, three in the method column and i got 12 minutes i hope you got this again i am going to explain uh, you uh, for eight month also so this is our eighth value four value in the first row next four values in the second row so what I got, I got order of when the order of assembly was two, operator type is four. So you can say order of assembly two, operator type four. Here it is written beta. So we say that when the work, workplace type was two and the assembly method was four, two and four, we got 12 minutes for our assembly time. Next question is that how we can solve this question in the mini tab. So we will use generalized linear model GLM. In which our response will be assembly time and we have four factors and then you can calculate this question very easily in the mini tab thanks for watching this video if you're new to my channel kindly subscribe to my channel bye bye